Want to learn Korean? Want to find out more about Korean culture and tradition? Then come on and join us. It's time to get your weekly dose of Korean knowledge. I love Korea. Korea. And we have a new guest joining us for I Love Korea every week, every Woo. Tuesday. The cute and lovely singer Hyanna. Welcome back. Yeah. Woo. Hello. Hello. Yeah. This is Hyanna. Yes. And basically she, um, um, it's been, it's been two weeks, right? Um, yes. 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 It's the second right. time that she's, uh, doing this segment with me. I'm very excited to be, um, with her. And I'm very uh, excited yes. too. Yeah. <laughs> so how's your week? How was, uh, how was, um, well, I was, your... um, quite busy. I, I, I'm actually in school now. Okay. So my, my new semester started last week. All right. So yeah, mm. I'm, going to school every day so. oh so she's a student yes I am. and I'm she's a... learning studying english, english literature in literature school. yes it must be hard. difficult huh <laughs> it is because when you um study by books it's really it's, hard it's so different it's, it is so different you know how some like even though we speak english right sometimes it's, we get the uh it's like because i think it's different because we learn literature not literature yeah, yeah. not english so. not english yeah. even like, though we use the language yeah. like English which yeah. is like really comfortable for us yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's still hard studying is hard there's a um, video of like foreigners mm -hmm. who can't like who's from like America oh I don't know yeah. uh, England whatever yeah they actually um, one of the one of the tests from Korea like toy Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They give, they get the, the questions to them. They're like, what's, right. what? Right. It's, it's, it's what? completely different. It's yeah. completely different. The, some words that we don't actually use. use. So it's. And even the grammars. Yeah, grammars as well. Yeah. So it's a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. And I know, but she, I'll, I think she will, you know, do good <laughs> with her, with her studies. Missing. Yes. I... Fighting to you. Fighting. <laughs> yeah. Fighting. When's your exam? Uh, exam. Um, well, maybe next month. Next I month. Guess. So yeah. you, you must be uh, really into this uh, <sighs> thing, right? I, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Best wishes to, uh, Hannah. And also, um, well, uh, a few weeks back, I came from, um, New Delhi. Oh, India. India. Yeah. Wow. Namaste. Uh, sh <laughs> shukriya. Shukriya. Yeah, that shukriya means thank you. Oh. Um, that's all I know. Wow, I haven't been to India. Me too. Actually, that was my first time. Mm. And so how was it? It was really good, but the weather was really uh, hot. Hot. Yeah. Was it, wasn't, it humid? Hmm. Uh, no, it wasn't that humid. Oh. Compared to Korea. But um, everything was good. Like, oh. I love the food. <laughs> Actually, my like my favorite food yep. is Indian Indian food. I I love curry. Really? Yes. <gasps> because yeah. like uh, maybe because of the uh, the ingredients, or maybe because of the I don't know some um, her herbs. Herbs. My, the special herbs the that yeah, Indians they, like use. They right? use yes. Uh, <laughs> some people don't like it. But yeah. I loved it. I, I loved all the curries that they like made. I feel like the strong taste. Like yeah, strong taste. I love Indian food. Yeah, you especially you get the hot naan and just dip it with the <gasps> curry. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> craving as well again. Yeah, but yes, it was really I had a really a nice time with there. Um, yeah, let's start with a few messages. Okay. Mio Miori from Japan. Welcome, Hayana. I want to know what were you and Kevin's first impression of each other, and how did you feel after the show last week? Ooh. Okay. So I guess uh, Hayana, because uh, I actually saw her a few times when before, before but uh, like this is actually the first time that we had right, a conversation, conversation and like yeah, conversation. We but only like met. I think like just doing inside. Inside, at yeah. The Hansung, right? Hansung, yeah, but. Yeah, I think she's she's cool girl. You know, she's Kevin's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think I did really um, not well, but I I think I could do it um, more comfortable. Oh yeah. Than yeah. I expected because like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like to <laughs> be honest Kevin. with you, you're the like a first like felt really comfortable. Oh. Yeah, because really? like every guest who comes here. Uh, they're like, oh man, what should I do? Like, I'm so <laughs> nervous. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. And I can see them really, they are really nervous, but you're, you're like, you know, relaxed. And so I guess, yeah, maybe. I hope I will do better. Better and better. better. Yeah, you'll get better right. and better. Yeah. For me, like, from when I first started this radio, I was yes. like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I have the screen in front of me. I'm so nervous, guys. Please understand. Yeah. I've done that. Been done that. But now, you know, you'll get comfortable and, 
Yeah. All right. Uh, next message from Ji Young from Korea. Okay. Well, I love your voice when you speak in English. Yeah. Maybe it's because you, because you lived overseas. Mm -hmm. I want to know how you study English as well. Mm -hmm. Um, this is one of my biggest worries right now. Okay. okay. So, mm. any tips for her? Well, um, you know, like living in Korea, yep. we don't actually re really don't use don't use language, English. Yes. Right? So, for me, when I first came to Korea, I just mm -hmm. went to Korean school because yeah, I yeah. was so bad in uh -huh. Korean. So my parents let me go to the, just to the like the Korean school, not yep, yep. the international mm -hmm. school. So I slowly, slowly forgot. Forgot. Like, forgot this English, but uh, later on I really start like I I studied hard and I tried hard to speak English with my friends, which friends. Is, that I don't really yeah, yeah. have many. Yeah, yeah. But I think I like try to keep using it when. Mm. That's important thing because um it doesn't ha well English Chinese. For languages, all the languages out there, you gotta practice, practice, practice. And you really have to try. You, you have to. You really have to try it. You right. really have to just let let yourself out there and just exactly. just do it. And yes. I like for me, um, well, I can't remember exactly when, but mm -hmm. I was born in Korea yes. and I was raised in Australia. Australia. But since then, um, I was like. You know, I, I I just know two words, banana and apple. Oh. That's the two words that I knew. Like in English? In English. Yes. But I started to, you know, throw myself out there with, uh, like, foreign friends and try to, like, speak in English. Yes. So, um, yeah, I think it's, um, that's the tip for you guys, you know, just, just, just try, just and try it. Yeah, exactly. All right, uh, Hejin from Korea, for both of you, does it take you a long time to get close to each other? Mm. How close to other people when you meet someone for the first time? I feel like the two of you are still a little awkward. <laughs> with of course, you know, it's like it's, it's the, the second, second time. time. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Well, yeah, that's... I mean, yeah. Right. But... Yeah, uh, yeah, but but we will get to, you know... Yeah, get closer. Get closer, closer and closer, right. yeah. And I don't even know, like, exactly what she's, you know... What kind of, what kind of right, person, personality? Personality, right. yes. Yeah. So um, we start to get know each other, you know, week by week or something. Uh, yes. Weeks by weeks. For me, well, mm -hmm. I'm very active, and then I'm, yeah, I'm I can a, see that you're you're yes, very active. I'm an outgoing person, but mm. like I think um, when I meet someone as a first time, as a first time, yeah, it takes a bit time to Big get time. really close. What's your blood type? A. A, oh yeah. A! <laughs> you yeah, A, 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 A. Really? A, wow. A, uh, takes time. A takes time. Yeah, it takes time, I yeah. So. It's not like, it's not like instant, like. Right, right. Like, yeah. That. It takes you need, time, it takes time and yeah. I like to, like, take time and know about the other person. Other person, a yeah. Lot. A lot. Not like, like not like instantly. Instantly, right? yeah. Got it. All right. Don't worry about that, guys. We'll get to know each other well. Well. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for your messages, guys. It's time to announce the winners of last week's Hayana vs. Kevin. Last week's topic was the K-pop song to sing to show off. Yes, that's right. Now, Hayana's uh, recommendation was Im Jung's Dunmuri Annaso. Tears didn't fall. My recommendation was Brown Eyed Souls. 정말 사랑했을까? Did we really love? Let's check out the results. Uh, Kahaku from Japan. I mean, Kohaku from Japan. I love all the Brown Eyed Souls songs, and actually, did we really love? Is one of my favorite songs from them. So I vote for Kevin. Okay, thank you, Kohaku. Yeah. Um, Jisu Eleven from Korea. Okay. Yes, yes. I love both songs, mm -hmm. but because I am totally in love with Hayana's voice, oh. I want to vote for Hayana. Wow, yeah. thank you. Please sing for us in the future too. I'll be waiting. Yes, we'll be waiting. Yes, for I will. Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, d um, you should do a, like a cover here. Yes, I I'm practicing a lot. Though. Okay, sure. Next time, like we are open for you. Ooh, so yeah, whenever okay. you feel like to sing, of course, I would love to. Please, yes, we are. I mean, fans are waiting for you. And uh, Koto from Japan. I listened to both songs, and but I liked Did We Really Love better than Hannah's pick. Oh, so <laughs> I vote for Kevin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Youngju from Korea. 
I couldn't make up my mind for a long time, but I made my decision based on the punishment this uh-huh. week. Oh, sing one verse without any music. I okay. want to hear Hayana sing, so I'm going to vote for Kevin. Oh my goodness. So, I think uh, winners, we have the winner. Yes, the, the winner, winner is, is Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, and of course, there's a punishment for the loser, right? The penalty is to sing the first verse of that K-pop song you picked without any uh, background music. But it doesn't need be. Uh, it doesn't have to be the mm. It can be any song um, from K-pop. K-pop. Yeah. Okay. What's 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 the um, what's your song these days? K-pop song that you listen um, to? Me. Yeah. Oh, well. Anything. Anything goes. Anything. Anything goes. Um. There's no. We're gonna. We're not gonna like. Uh. You know, film this or anything. We're just gonna let you to sing here. Okay. Just a verse or something. Just a line. Um. Um. Anything. Well, actually. Well, honestly. Yep. I practice pop songs. <laughs> so, pop songs. All right. So and like recently, I don't know why, but I haven't listened to any K-pop songs. So. Okay. So um, can I sing pop song then? Yeah, sure. It yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, what song is it? Well, what's the title? Well, well I, I, right now, I remember mm-hmm. "Like a Star" from Korean. What? Like a star. Like a star from. Just like a star uh, across my sky. Yeah. Just like an angel off the page. Woo. You have appeared to my life. Feel like I'll never be the same. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! No, guys, this is just, uh, you know, uh, just a penalty from Hyanna, but yeah. <laughs> maybe next time she will uh, do the fur version. Yes, yes, I will. Yes, we are looking forward to, um, you, for you to sing here. Um, uh, we, uh, like to, uh, play one song for you guys, My Boy by Sister19, and we will be back with Korean Skit. Hyena was on the subway headed for the Dongdaemun to do some shopping. As soon as she sees a seat empty, she rushes and sits down. But she starts getting annoyed at, it, at the man sitting next to her and texts her friend. There's a man spread sitting next to me. Mm, it's so crowded. Is this whole row for him or something? In Korean as well, please. Yeah. 지금 내 옆에 짝벌남이 있어. 완전 자리 좁아서 죽겠어. 이 자리가 다 자기 거야? 어, 정말 짜증나겠다. 나도 어제 짝벌남 만났었다니까? 너무 열받아서 다리 좀 모으라고 얘기했더니, 얼른 자세를 바꾸더라. They're so annoying. I sat next to one of them too. I got so mad that I told him to put his legs together and he listened. 아니, 처음부터 그렇게 앉지 왜 그러는 걸까? Why can't they just sit like that from the beginning? 그러니까 말이야. 쪽발남들 때문에 불편한 사람 많다고 여기저기서 기사도 났었는데 아직도 많은 것 같아. Seriously, they're so inconsiderate to people around them on the subway. <웃음> they just don't get it. 이제부터는 쪽발남 만남이 나도 다리를 밀어버릴 거야. The next time I meet one of those men spreaders, I'm going to push him away with my legs too. 그래. 우리 쪽발남에게 당하고 있지 말자. 움직여줘. Yeah, let's get back at them next time. We sit next to any of them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what what's happening with my voice today, but uh, I'll try to uh, be girlish as I can, but it didn't work out, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, um, 쪽발남. That's the word that we are going to use and learn today. Yes. 쪽발남, which means it's uh, man spreaders. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, well, since we're talking about Chokpolam men spreaders, do you like those people, the guys? Jokpolams? Yeah, Chokpolam men spreaders. Do I like? Yeah. When you, when you see them, do you oh. see them as a, like a confidence? Um, I, no. No? Well, I, yeah, not confidence. It, I see them like, why are they sitting <laughs> like that? Mm. Because, you know, like, for example, yep. like we we read a situation situations like this on a yes, subway. On subway, yeah. That's and inappropriate. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, and yeah. You no, know, mm. you shouldn't. I think you shouldn't like act like act like selfish. That. Okay, like you mean uh, like in a subway bus, bus. etc. 
Bro. Right. I guess, yes, I think that's an inappropriate But by behavior. himself, and if yep. it's his area, it yeah, will, yeah. yeah, I can understand, but... What about, like, uh, man spreaders, like, hip-hop, you know, like... Hip-hop. Yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah. Well, if it you know, suits like, him, hip-hop. if it suits him, and if he's a real hip hop guy, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe a bit different. <laughs> Are you, you know, more of a like a hip hop um, behavior or no? Not behavior. behavior. I don't know. Like, do you like those? Yes. Uh, no. Gestures. That uh, gestures. Um. Well, I love hip hop music. Like spreading. <sighs> <laughs> like well, the gestures. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, too much. If, if it's, it's too, too much. much, it will be strange. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I don't. Well, I don't see you? any girls who spread their legs. Right. Right. Girls. Girls don't. Don't. Even though usually, they wear. Right. Even they. Even though they wore jeans. I mean, they don't like spray, spray the, legs. Their legs. Right. That will be weird. Be very weird and yeah. awkward. Yeah. So, um, I guess chokpolam, that's the word, uh, men spreaders, which is in English. So, yes. let's learn about what this words mean. Okay. Well, this, this word refers to the men who sit in the subways yep. or other public modes of transportation with their legs spread wide open. Widely open. Yes, widely open. Uh, recently, the word man spreading was registered as an official word in an Oxford English dictionary, proving that many people all around the world are using this word. Now, let's uh, review the word one more time. Yes, in Korea, yep. um, people call the men who sit in the subways with their legs spread wide, widely open. Mm-hmm. We call them Chokbolnam. Chokbolnam. Yes, Chokbolnam. Um, probably those of you who can't pronounce this. Well, it's, it's, it's a bit hard to it pronounce. pronounce yeah. right? Chokbolnam. Chokbolnam. Yeah. Oh, well, it's hard for me to Chokbolnam. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you're doing perfectly Jokbol-nam. fine. Chokbolnam. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's the word. And in English, uh, like we said, man spreader or man spreading. Chokbolnam. Mm hmm. That sounds weird, men spreading. Men spreading. Do you use that in English? I haven't heard it before. I haven't heard it before. I think it's either. because it's a Korean, you know, it's a Korean word. Jokbolnam. Jokbolnam. It, it is we a Korean word. We made it, yeah. yes. So, like, for, trans, translating into mm-hmm. English, it's men spreading. So men spreading. Right. That, okay. That we don't really use it they in don't English, know. right? Mm. Men spreader. We just say, why do you spread your legs right. that much? Yeah. It, well, anyways. So, anyways. um... I never, but I never seen any of these people, mm-hmm. like in, a, in the subways or bus transportations, because I, like in Korea, I, I think a lot of people try to, you know, keep the, um, the, manners. the manners. So yeah, mm. but like this, what had happened um, a few months back yes. when we were in this um, program. Yes. Uh, no, we had this. No, we had this. Um, uh, not a program. It's like a showcase. Mm-hmm. And you know how, in, like, through, the, um, when you monitor the. After. After you, after recording. recording. You, you monitor, mm-hmm, right? And, right. and you see yourself on a, on a screen. Mm-hmm. And for guys, if they like, like if they're soft, relaxed, oh, they do that. Right, you know, they spread right. their legs. But, um, on the screen, it doesn't look good at all. Exactly. It's like. It, it, it looks could, no manners. It looks right. like they have no manners or something. So, yeah. So it's we fun. try to we we always say um, whenever we go on the show or where be wherever careful. we go, just be careful. Let's just be careful because it looks like you know we have no manners. So yeah. But I guess Chopolam. There are a lot of people out there. So maybe that's why in uh they put the uh register the uh, as an official word in Oxford mm-hmm. English Dictionary. So there you go, men spreader or men spreading. That's the word for today. Chopolam. So Jok-bol-nam. try to uh, use with your friends. Try, but try not to do. <laughs> right. Do it. Be careful. Ways. Be careful, guys. Now we'll be taking a short break with this next song. Here's Chia Chorizo on the subway by Akdong Musician. All right, that was Chia Chorizo on the subway by Akdong Musician. Uh, it's time to learn about Korean tradition and culture. It's a corner where me and Hyena give you our recommendations, also known as Hyena versus Kevin. Both Hyena and I'll be introducing different things about one topic, and you simply tune in and decide which one was better. Vote on our message board, guys. 
And today's Heyana versus Kevin topic is related to the Korean word that we learned today. Chokbolnam, man spreader. The topic is my favorite mode of public transportation in Korea. Bus or subway, taxi or trains. We will be picking our favorite one. All right, so uh, mm. do you want to go first? Okay. For my favorite mode of tr uh, public transportation in Korea. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, my favorite mode in, of tr like public transportation yeah. in Korea is maybe bus. Bus. Yes. You bus. sure about that? Bus. Um, bus. B U S. Yes, I will pick okay. bus. All right, yes. Hiana picked bus. What, what's the reason for it? Well, I actually use um, like subways or okay. buses a lot. Mm -hmm. But, well, um, well, subway is more faster than the bus. The bus, yes. But actually, I like to sit down and listen to, mu listen to the mm. music and look at the outside views. Mm. And I really like that, you know, feeling. Feeling, yeah. It has that, you know, yeah, that yeah. really special thing. Thing, yeah, yes. So I will, yeah, probably pick bus. Bus. Okay. That's my most favorite. What's then? What? Um, what's the song? What would be the song with like? Bus well, it, ride, it, with the it, bus ride. it depends on the it depends on the mood and the weather and like everything. If okay. if it's really sunny, and sunny. If, if you really want to go like out, da, 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 da. <laughs> something like that. Right, da, 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 exactly. Da, 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 like something like that. Yeah, but okay. or if you, you really want to go like clubbing, but you don't, you can't really go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, Listen to the electronic electronic sounds, sounds. and or like big bang songs. Big bang songs. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah. All right. And okay. That. And if it's raining, you change the songs into the raining mood. Raining mood. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, bus. Uh, it was, and uh, I'll go for um taxi. Oh, taxi. Yeah, it's very um easy to get. Uh, it and is. The, we have a actually we have the uh, the abs to. Uh, it's a free call, free charge, and yeah, it's very instant. Mm. It's very um, easy to, um, yeah, call, call them, mm. and wherever you go, there's always taxi, right? And it's cheap. It I is. know, I know that bus is way cheaper, cheaper but right. more cheaper. But uh, I'm saying a taxi. I think it's an, it's very safe here in Korea. Is so, it? Yes, it is. Yeah, in the mornings or at night. When you're out there, you know, you just want, if you need a taxi, you just stand there and there's, ev they're everywhere, yeah. Right. And they have, they have everywhere. But for the bus, maybe they have the time. Mm. So. Maybe, um, because where I live, I have a bus stop right in front of the oh, right, house. Right. Oh, yeah. That's why I use it all Sure, right. sure. Thank but you. I'm saying, like, everything is just really, um, uh, here in Korea, everything yes. is just so, um, like good. Conven convenient, convenient, convenient. Right. I, I was, I was thinking <laughs> that word. Anyways, everything is convenient here in Korea, and everything is, I think it's cheaper compared to other countries because Australia, the cab, taxi is really expensive. Right. You know where I live. I was, I lived in Epping, Collingford. You know that area. From the city to my house was like, I don't know, cost me like hundred dollars, <gasps> hundred over hundred dollars. Wow, that I know. Is, is so expensive. So expensive. so expensive. And even in Japan as well. It's very expensive. Right, I heard that Japan is expensive. Expensive, yeah. So I guess, hmm. Taxi, I go for taxi. Taxi, and yeah, I go, go for bus. bus. Yeah, bus. Radio! Um, please cast your votes for either Hyena or my own picks. Your votes will determine a winner and a loser. The loser will be getting a penalty next week. Next week's penalty will be ta uh, taking a special picture, Ta -da! where the winner looks normal, but the other person has to make a weird <laughs> facial expressions to make that one person look better. The other person will either uh, close his or her eyes or stick out their tongue, uh, crinkle uh, their faces, wow. etc. In Korea, this is called Wemo Morajugi, which literally translates to meaning uh, giving one person all the good looks. Exactly. Exactly. Have you done this before with your no, friends? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah? Like, but we haven't like uploaded on SNS. Uh, SNS. Or you just kept it on your yes. phone. <laughs> exactly. oh, okay. Uh, were, were you were you the one? Uh, we did it. The pretty one, or were you like well, the... I did both of them. Oh, both of them. Both oh. of them. So you, you, you guys took turns. Right, right. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, mm. We did that a lot with our members before. With our members, okay. yes. 
But next week we have to do it. So I'm, yes. I'm looking forward to the. <laughs> yes, uh, who will be the winner? Yes. Yes, and we're always waiting for your suggestions. So mm -hmm. please let us know if there's any Korean phrases or words you'd like to learn. Yep. Or if you have any fun punishment ideas, yep. leave your suggestions with I Love Korea on the message board. This marks the end of our corner. Hyanna will be staying till the closing and will be joining us for What You Want. Um, we'll be back after this following song. 새벽 택시, Midnight Taxi by Double A. What do you want to hear right now? What would you like me to say? I'm here for you. What you want? Today's request comes from Eun Lee from Korea. I got my first paycheck ever yep. from working at my own part-time job. All right. Wow, this is so exciting. I'm so proud of myself for not quitting after one month <laughs> and working hard. Congratulations. Wow. So please tell me I did a good job. Uh -huh. And also I want to buy myself a present for mm. a job well done. What should I buy myself? Any suggestions? Um, well, first of all, congratulations, congratulations. for staying in for one month, one whole month. <laughs> one month. Yes. Um, oh, I think she is a girl, right? I think she, yeah, she's a girl. Lee, yes. Yeah, Yoon. Well, for me, well, yeah. well, and if she asks it, because she asks like suggestions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if she's a girl, I think you should go shopping. Shopping. <laughs> you should go shopping. 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 I will go for shopping today. I will buy some heels and <laughs> right. some chocolates because for myself. autumn yeah. is coming and oh, yeah. Yeah, you need your clothes and clothes. like stuffs for. Or you can uh, save it. Oh. Yeah, save it, and it, you know maybe right. Give some to your some. parents. Because it's her, your, first, it's her first ride. Exactly. In Korea, yeah. when you earn some money for the first time in your life, you know it's it's, it's one of Korean tradition. It's not like mm, it's not in then Australia, though, right? right that, 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 that tradition. But most of the Koreans do that if they get the first first like money. income. Yeah, income. Mm. They give some to their parents. Some to their parents. For, yes. Like they appreciate. You appreciate to yeah, but yeah. Uh, have you ever um, well, worked? Or, um, you know, as I worked at a part-time job at a cafe or anything, well, full-time? Not yet, -time. but before, when I was in the group, um, when we got the first income, income, yep. well, I, I gave it all to my parents. Wow! I gave it all to my parents. Wow. Well, which wasn't that much, yeah, but though, much, but because it was no, the first No, it's just income. that... Yes, so I did, and I got a little bit of yongton, mm. yes. Oh, what a kind Hyanna. Well, that that's a good thing because, uh, yeah, you can do that. Or you can buy yourself a, you know, new clothes for a new right. season. Or you can just have some, you know, nice dinner or something with your friends. Exactly. Whatever. That would be nice. Everything's, everything's good. Right. It's your money. So it's yours. It's you, yours. Yes, just yes. do what you want. Yes, do what you want. Exactly. And here's a uh, Payday by Acor, and we'll be back with the uh, answer for today. Payday by Acor, and let me tell you the answer to today's quiz. The answer was... Number two, Lion. The winner will be announced after the show on Happy Message Board. If you see your name on the list, leave us your name, address, phone number, and your country. Today's winner will be receiving a Polaroid photo of Zell. Here's one more song for you. Home by Roy Kim, and we'll be back with the closing.